In this lesson, we'll see how easy it is to use Flash Media Server to do adaptive bitrate HTTP streaming to Flash and iOS. Now, when I say adaptive bitrate streaming, I mean that a video is encoded at several bitrates and the media player switches automatically between the bitrates during playback to provide the best viewing experience. Adaptive bitrate streaming is also called multi bitrate streaming, it's also called dynamic streaming, they're all the same thing. So let's get started. Flash Media Server installs with a sample file that's been encoded at multiple bit rates, so we'll use that file for our multi-bit multi rate set. Now the server needs to know about each media asset in a set. It needs to know the location of the file. It needs to know the bit rate of the file. Um, so we'll use these files. And in order to tell the server that information, we create a set level manifest file. For Flash players, it's an F4M file, Flash Media Manifest file. And for Apple players, it's called an M3U8 variant playlist. So we have a tool that lets us create those in Tools, F4M Config. This is the Set Level Manifest Generator. So I'm going to go back really quickly and grab that file name. So for the Flash player, we'll use localhost, since it's on the same, the player's on the same computer as the server. Then we're going to say hds-vod to tell the server to package the content for HTTP dynamic streaming, which is what Flash players use. Stream name, file name extension, F4V, and then F4M, because a media player requests a manifest file for HTTP streaming, and that manifest file is generated by the server on the fly. So again, this manifest file is a set-level manifest file. The set-level manifest file contains URLs to stream-level manifest files. So we're going to put in 150 here. Now we'll use a 700 kbps file. And let's use 1,000. So that's what the manifest file looks like. It contains the full URLs to the F4M file for each asset in the set. Save the file as vod.f4m, and that's what we'll request from the media player. So now let's create that same file, but in M3U8 format for iOS players. So we'll use the IP address on the local network of the server running FMS because we'll stream this from an iPad. Now we're going to use HLS-VOD to tell the server to package the content for HTTP live streaming which is what iOS devices use. Stream name dot M3U8 the full path to the media asset for iOS. 700 and 150. So that's what an M3U8 file looks like. Again, this set level manifest file is like a meta manifest file that points to the stream level manifest files that the server generates on the fly when the media is requested. So we're going to call this one vod.m. 3U8. All right, now we'll go into the Flash sample player. There's the video player right here. So to request that set level manifest file, HTTP, localhost, it's in the VOD folder. We don't use HDS-VOD because we're just requesting the set level file that then points to the media assets, those use HDS-VOD to tell the server to package them. And then VOD.F4M. So let's request the set level M3U8 file from this iPad. See adaptive bitrate streaming over here. IP address of the server, then we go into the VOD folder, vod.m3u8.
So it's as easy as that to do adaptive HTTP streaming to both Flash and iOS devices.